Igbo women don't like for their lazy Nobu Igwe. Media personality and co father of three sisters in North Nobu Igwe has said Igbo women from the ethnic groups are lazy and prefer enjoying their urban riches instead of going out there to work. The blogger took to Twitter and the Omonde to take a swipe at Igbo women saying they were ways to inherit their husband's assets as well as their father's. The Igbo women are lazy, they don't like to work and just want to sit back and enjoy their husband's hard earned money. They want to inherit their husband's property and then inherit from their fathers as well and do nothing but call Oriapo. See Yoruba women. The Yoruba woman is a good getter, breaking boundaries, doing new things every day, and she does not even need a lot to back her. Just her belief and living in her tent. Guess what? She don't need anybody's permission. In his Twitter thread, the media personality opined that the evil women are lazy, they don't like working, and just want to sit back and enjoy their husbands at any money. He said, unlike the evil women, Yoruba women are hardworking, build their houses themselves, and know where to inherit their husbands' houses and also their fathers. He went on to advise men, saying, Hire the woman that is ready to work with you to live things equally for your children. Not the evil woman that is waiting for you to die first, so she can inherit and become the head of the home, just by being Oriya. His tweet thread read, The evil women are lazy, does not like to work, and just want to sit back and enjoy their husband's money. They want to inherit their husband's property and then inherit their father's house as well and do nothing but answer Oriaku. The Yoruba women, hardworking, building houses, are not ready to fight for father's house in Ibadan. When they make changes, they do, but even women will come and make it seem like someone is holding them down. The Yoruba woman is a go getter, breaking boundaries, doing new things every day, and she does not need a lot to back her. Just her belief and living in an attempt. Guess what? They don't need anybody's permission. Every day you are seeking for permission from your village to travel to Lagos. Build a house and erect it, and nobody from your village will come take it. There is no culture holding you back from achieving things. Why are you so in or inherited somebody someone else has built when you can build your own? Why is this topic always on inheritance? Can't you work for your own? You don't need the other one to inherit. Have you seen outside women fighting for inheritance? No, they go out and build. No wonder most people think that evil women are greedy. The argument can never be how my evil culture stopped me from buying land in Lagos. It is always out to gain from the partiality reading people. Kings, find a woman that is ready to work with you and equally live for your children. Not the evil woman that is waiting for you to die first so she can inherit the house and be called head of the home. Tomorrow, you see other women tweet about how their mother will things to them, and now we help them to do better. These tweets don't come from evil women. Them, they, them and their mother are waiting for their father to die first. Ask yourself, what have you done to change your life as a girl in your community? Is it evil women that are stopping you too? In conclusion, any gender can hold any agenda. Why some of our concerns are true. The real changes come from doing and not holding the things of our father over all evil women. Discuss issues that relate to particular people, communities, villages, and the evil land at large. The evil man is flawed just like every other man, but you can't deny his work that the new generation evil man is doing so much changing some of the narrative.
please log on to our website www.broadwaytv.tv and on Instagram at the Broadway TV and please subscribe to our YouTube channel Broadway Africa.